All right, guys, welcome back. So here we are. We're going to go over modes and functions, okay? These are the modes and functions. And again, this is the control bar. You can, you can customize your modes and functions, how many of them are going to show up on your control bar if you're looking at your session and you see this, right, where you can, you can only see a couple modes and functions. Just click here, go up to beats and project and that will give you more space okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold control and we're going to click on the control bar hold control on the keyboard click on the control bar and you're going to go down to where it says customize control bar these are your modes and functions okay i only have a few of these selected because they're the ones that i use often um, but if you highlight these you'll see that up here on the control bar it will add on whatever modes and functions you want uh, whatever works best for your workflow. This is work. This is what works best for my workflow. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you this and you can customize it however you want. So auto punch. This is an advanced feature that you're going to be looking at later on, but I want to introduce you to it real quick. You're going to need to know this. The shortcut for the auto punch function is control option command and the letter P. See that now all of a sudden this is on it's red. And this red line here, much like the cycle bar, you can adjust it and you can customize it to fit your needs and your workflow. Okay, again, we're going to talk about this more later on, but that is the shortcut control option command and the letter P. Okay, I wanted to introduce you to that just like everything else. I introduce you to it and later on we connect dots. Okay, next uh, function is this one right here. This is the low latency function. If you look over at the quick help uh, window, this will give you some information on it. In plain English, if you are, if you have a session and you have a lot of plugins and you got a lot going on in the session, sometimes the computer can slow down. It can be bogged down by all the plugins and everything you got going on. Pressing this uh, low latency function will turn off the plugins that are not important or it'll turn off certain things in the session so that you can listen to your session without any interruptions or any latency okay this here is the solo uh, function the shortcut for this function is command s okay and what this allows you to do is it allows you to select which regions you want to hear in solo mode so yes you can go here and press solo but that's going to play all the regions right but let's say that you just needed to focus on, say, this region right here. You could press Control and the letter S, and it's going to mute everything else except for this region so that you can hear this region. Com uh, control S will undo it, or you can just select the region you want. For instance, if I selected this region right here, and I went up to the solo function, there it goes. One more time, if I needed to hear this, just this region, Control, the letter S, boom and it's so this next function or this next mode right here this is the count in and the shortcut is shift and the letter k okay see that turns it off and on hold shift tap the letter k on off on off and what this allows you to do again if you look at the quick quick help window it will give you a breakdown um basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to set how much time you're going to have before you start recording so for instance i have mine on one bar so if i press record it's going to give me one bar where i'm not recording it's like a it's like a get re uh, ready get set go kind of thing right so you could set it for three bars four or five bars i have mine set for one bar and what that'll do is it'll give me one bar and then after one bar it'll start recording uh this is the click the click uh this is the metronome or the click some people call it metronome still okay the shortcut for the click or the metronome is the letter k see on off and what this does is it gives you a click while you're recording so that you can stay on beat or stay on tempo and you're going to see that right now we're just looking at at the basic functionality functionality excuse me the basic function functionality of logic and uh, once we get into making music and producing and, and sound design and all that, you're going to be using all of these modes and functions. Uh, but again, these are the modes and functions that I need for my workflow. If you hold control and click on the control bar, you can customize your control bar however you see fit. Um, I have mine customized 
based on my workflow. Anyway, guys, I don't know. I'm my, I'm getting all twisted up uh, with my words here, so I'm gonna let y'all go. Anyway, make sure you don't leave this video until you have understood and mastered everything you've just been taught. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.